thought it off. I just wanted to uh, hit on base on one of the little, little misconceptions about my channel that I think a lot of people might not know. And unfortunately, this is something that's kind of, I guess, gotten away from me over the long course of the years that I have been making videos. I mean, this video I'm doing is actually supposed to be my video game rap video. But before I go into that, I would like to say is, even though I call this Qdoma TV, by all technicality, the actual name of the video channel is actually called Rubius Arcos. Which is kind of funny well, in many ways, because that is the name I, I go on in my Google. But also, what's even funner, funnier, I like, go stranger, is the fact that I call myself Q Doma. It's something that's kind of taken a life of its own in many ways. But I just thought I'd just put this out for you folks. That are a little confused on the concept why it's like that. And I like Ruby Asakos. I like Q Doma. I like calling my channel Q Doma TV. I'm not changing it. I don't know. I don't think I can change it. It's something that it just has got stuck with that. But I just wanted just to throw that out there for the folks that are trying to actually find my channel or people that are having this all kinds of difficulties. Because I find myself falling into the little rub of telling people it's Q Doma TV, and then when they look for it, they can't find it. You know, but it's Ruby is our coast, this is the name of the channel. But, you know, it's about all different things. It's just lately I've been focusing on this. But um, that being said, let's just move on to the video game rant. All right. Now, the first thing that I'm going to jump on today, I'm going to talk about the new Injustice 2. Now, that's a, big, that's a big thing for me. I actually got video footage of it, and I'm going to actually look at it right now, and I'm just going to do my breakdown to tell you what I think about it flat out. Now, from the beginning part here, is we see Supergirl, and she's fighting, I th I'm trying to remember what his name is, uh, she's fighting one of the Red Lanterns. I think it's very interesting that they're bringing the Red Lanterns into this, and that's a cool concept. The only thing, the only issue that I really got with this Supergirl is she looks kind of freaky looking, and I just feel that her hair is not really long enough. I mean... I know she's supposed to look young. I don't know. I just thought maybe they could have just maybe did a better job on her looks, maybe. And I know this is this a preliminary, and maybe they'll do some tweets or fit or, or, or you know or fix or fix something. Or maybe she got some better skins. I don't know. You know, I know I'm, you probably think I'm just being a little bit picky here, and probably when this video is all said and done. Some of y'all out there are going to probably be calling me the selfish video gamer. But whatever the case, moving on with uh, the rest of this. As I'm um, going through the rest of this, I'm seeing, you know, Aquaman looks cool. Uh, it looks like they got Grog. I hope they keep Grog in there. I hope this isn't this something, you know, they're just putting out there and then later on they scrap it because I hate when they do stuff like that. You know, they you know, they give us something good, then when you get to the final product, you know, things is missing. Moving on. Uh, you know, the super moves look really cool. It looks like we got some more diverse super moves. Now, one other little thing that I this I also noticed, it looks like they're using some of the same backgrounds here in in the game. I some of them I recognize from Injustice One. Now, personally, from my personal standpoint, I feel that, you know, if I'm going into a, a sequel, I understand some people like to bring back original backgrounds or whatever, just to, can't, I guess, to kind of bring people back to that certain something or do upgrades 
or whatever. But maybe I feel with this Injustice 2, maybe they should have just showed another aspect of Aquaman's realm. I totally did a whole different remastering rather than just using the same, the some of the same backgrounds. Because some of the same ones I still see here. I see they're still doing that so, that same thing where you hit the person and they, they crash into something. I noticed that. I see that. You know, and that looks interesting. Batman and Superman look pretty cool. I noticed that they're doing this thing with the different armors. Looks like they have three different, I guess, two or three different, you know, forms that they're going. I, I like that. That looks pretty cool so far. And, you know, I'm, I'm digging that. I'm digging that. Of course, now, I guess my main question is how that process is going to work. I mean, from what I'm seeing here, it looks cool. I don't know if it's just something when the armors happen, if it's something that's instantaneous or something you have to build up to get to. But I'm interested to see where this goes. I hope... I hope we have a large roster of characters. Considering in Injustice, the first one, that a lot of those characters, we had to wait to a special edition to get the rest of the characters. I feel this time around, when we get Injustice 2, all the characters that was in the first Injustice should be available to us. All of them. There shouldn't be no situations where people are, you know, hidden, you know, hidden characters, I guess, in the sense, like, I guess, like, Lobo should be playable. Um, what's his name? Um, well, from um, Superman's Planet, he's in it. Zod should be playable. You know, that, that should, that should already be there. There shouldn't be no issues in in that regard with those characters. That we should have all of them plus a whole brand new roster of new characters. That's my feeling on that. I mean, you know how they did with the the new Mortal Kombat, how you had all those new characters, even though they did re release XL. And even though personally, from my personal standpoint, I feel x is better rather than sitting there buying the first Mortal Kombat where you got the limit limited amount of characters when you could just buy the other one that just has all the characters. And I feel here, you know, they should just give us, give us all the characters. I don't want no DLC crap. Even though probably most likely they're going to end up putting some DLC and they're going to have some crap where we're going to have some special edition and we're not even going to have the original edition. We're going to have to go through all these jumping through the hoops things. But the Injustice 2 does look good. It has potential. Of course, as I said in my previous videos, I just hope it doesn't suck. That's the big thing I'm, you know, I'm wondering about. Now, keep in mind, you do also have an Injustice comic book. You know, and I'm wondering, and you know, I'm just wondering if any of this is going to bleed into the game. Because there's a lot of characters I felt we, you know, we didn't get in the first Injustice that they could have put in there. And, you know, you look at all the characters they set up there and put in the first Injustice that were, I guess, characters that you had to unlock or get the, you had to buy or you had to wait for the special edition to come out. You know, in this one, we should see a dark side. That that's this, you know, that's this plain and simple. Now, if you're gonna if you're gonna put some of the red lanterns in there, put the main ones in there, the cool ones. I would even like the the cat in there, cause I'm a cat owner. If you if you already can't tell that I like cats, and my cat's sleeping behind me right there, and that's Misty. You know, she's probably not caring about what I'm saying right now. But this, you know, I'm just putting that out there. You know, if you're gonna if you're gonna put the red lampers, you should put the blue, the yellow, put all the colors in there. Here's another thing that really that really got me. With the first injustice, I thought it was funny how they kept doing I mean like they just kept milking the hell out of that daggone game. 
And it like it really irked me, I guess, in the sense that, you know, with all the different skins that was available, it's like you got no additional upgrade in the character. Meaning is it's like if I had Cyborg Superman, it was nothing else special about him beside the simple fact that he just had the skin. And you know, that's that's an that's an, that's another issue too. You know, don't get me wrong. As much as I like skins, they're, they're cool, but the thing about it is it kind of diminishes the character in its entirety when it's just nothing but a visual shell and nothing else. It's not, you know, it, it takes away from the substance of what the character is. And I've seen this, I've seen this, I've seen this so many, I've seen this with the, I've seen this with the, the Batman, Batman games. I've seen this with Spider-Man games. You know, they have multiple skins, but they don't do anything. They just there for visual. I've seen this with DOA. Same scenario. You know, like, I mean, DOA is just freaking ridiculous. They got, I think, over like a thousand freaking damn skins, and they don't do nothing. I mean, don't get me wrong. They're cool. They're cool as hell. You know, but... I think it's just kind of a bit of a slap of the face when you're not getting anything anything special with the skins. You're not getting no upgrades in the character whatsoever. No upgrades, you know. I mean, like, if you're going to give me skins, give me some upgrades with those skins. It would be nice. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being picky about stuff. You know, I'm from the old school days of gaming. You know, I... I I mean, I was born in 1977. I know I don't mean not look it. I mean, you know, some people think I'm immortal. That I've been around since the dawn of time, or I look like a kid or something. But this, you know, this is an issue. I remember way, you know, before we got to this point, before you know, before gaming, you know, started looking like movies. You know, we as the gaming community. We should expect more from our games and not just expect, you know, the bull crap that's just being set out there. I uh, That's just that's just me. I don't know. I don't know about the rest of y'all out there. Some Maybe some of y'all just don't care. Maybe y'all just like, well, you know, we'll just take whatever they give us and just be happy. I don't know. You know, maybe I'm just being too selfish, even though, you know, even though from a personal standpoint, I feel I feel like this. Sometimes you need to be selfish. But okay, I'm just going a little bit too much into this. But I mean, continuing on my video game rant. You know, now looking now looking 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 on. Now there's a there's a few other games that, you know, I wish that could have came to fruition but did not. There was a um I guess there was a, what was it? Uh, there was there, there was supposed to be a Silent Hill game that was that was supposed to come out, but that never happened. Unfortunately, we it got canceled, and you know that's a sin and a shame. You know it looked really realistic and everything, so you know that's that's down that's down the crapper. I'm also gonna I'm also gonna touch base. On games that I have no interest in, but I'm sure some of y'all probably have an interest in. Uh, one of the new games that's coming out, they're probably gonna be at. It's gonna be at uh, E3. Is Watch Dogs 2. I had no interest in the first one. I have no interest in this one. It's just not the type of game that I'm interested in. Uh, that's just like. These black ops games. I'm not really interested. It amazes me how many people try to get me to play them. And I tell them over and over what kind of games I'm into. And it is just like the same thing. You know, hey, why don't you play this? I can't believe you don't got this game yet. It's the coolest game ever. I mean, well, for you it is. And not for, not for me, you know. I've never been big into really army games like that. i just never really been. I mean, it amazes me the fact the fact of being how many games that are like that out there now. And, like, it amazes me even more the fact that, I mean, the franchise has expanded to such a degree that it seems like 
like it's I don't know. I guess the success of that game seems like is what makes it for the rest. It's, it's like the rest of the games are just thrown to the side. You know, what about the damn fighting games? And I'm not talking when I say fighting games, and I don't talk about I'm not talking about the sports so much sports related ones like the you know like the boxing games or you know the ones where you got the ECW you know I'm not talking about wrestling games I ain't talking about none of them I'm talking about games like Street Fighter I'm talking about games like DOA I'm talking about games like Tekken what about them games those are the kind of games that I want to see where you know where are those out even though I hear we're supposed to be getting another Tekken soon. It, that Tekken actually looks pretty darn good from what I can see. You know, I, you know, I, you know, I see that they're going into some other domains where it's starting to kind of, I won't say completely, some aspects of Street Fighter going on. Uh, um, now, speaking of, now, speaking of, uh, I guess, Tekken, uh, you know, I would also like to see Another Soul Calibur. I haven't heard nothing from Namco. What are you doing? You know, I would love to see another Namco. I don't know. Are they in trouble? Are they having financial issues? Supposedly, Capcom isn't doing too good right now because the I guess the the whole thing that's going on with Street Fighter, the results didn't go as well as they wanted it to go. I, you know, and I understand a lot of fans out there are really upset about what's going on with Street Fighter. You know, when that game came out, there was a lot of things missing. I bought the game. That was a that was a judgment call on on my hand. And you know, and I know you know a lot I know some people would say, well, you know, if you knew this was going to happen, you know, whatever. I mean, the point is, I didn't know. When I saw the game, it looked awesome. And, you know, I love Street Fighter. I've always loved Street Fighter. You know, I dare do say that I am a fan of Street Fighter, even though I don't always come out and say I'm a fan of anything. But I just really love that game a lot. You know, I grew up with that game. I remember the very first one from way back in the day. I can remember the first character that I played was Chun-Li. But, you know, but going back to that, is, that, that game is still awesome. No matter what anyone may say about that, it has great graphics, great gameplay. The story mode is, eh, is mediocre. It could have been a lot better. It was very, very short, and you know it. You know, I feel what it was lost was was lost on that. You know, it makes up for the other aspects. But I'm going to say this to Capcom personally: it's still no excuse. Um, another game that's cool, and I still want to go play. And I've heard really great things about is Overwatch. That game looks really, really, really cool. I, you know, I've only heard nothing but good stuff about it. It's, you know, it's got a nice roster of characters. Seems like it has a pretty good story going on for it. And, you know, it's it's it seems to be very diversified. And it looks like something that I would like to play. I'm not going to buy it. At the moment, I'm probably most likely going to get it from the library and play it from there. Yeah, for some of those, for some of y'all that don't know, is you can go to your library, your local library, and get video games and play them. If you just don't want to sit there and bother with paying full price, you know this is this is something I'm just throwing out there for those of y'all that don't know. Now you know, and no one's have to battle. Moving on further, uh, other games that I'm really not crazy about seeing. I supposedly heard that uh, Crash Bandicoot is coming back. I can't honestly say that I am thrilled about that. I played Crash Bandicoot like way back, way, way back in the day. I mean, it's like whatever to me. I could personally do without that game in my life. Um, other 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 games that's coming out. There's supposed to be an, a, another Dead Rising for. Be honest with you, I wasn't a fan of the first one. I mean, you know, I like I like zombie games, 
But Dead Rising, it just it's one of them games that never did it for me. I mean, to each day on, that's just me. I'm selfish. That's just how I am. You know, it seems like all the games that's coming out seem to be games that I don't really care for. I don't know. I just don't I don't follow what's popular. You know, I'm not you know, there's some stuff I like, but on most games I'm not really feeling that's coming out. There's only a handful. The new Doom game that came out, that's awesome. Go play it. I you know, it's you know, even though I made I, I made a I made a comment about rehashing games and it's funny because even though this doesn't go under the number of Doom One, Doom Three, you know, it's this Doom, you know, that game looks really cool. I don't know. It's like there are some games I can deal with the exception of being redone. Or, or re, you know, there, there are some, there are some, not all, even though I, I always complain about, you know, I think us as a society, we rehash too much stuff, I you know, a, you know, that's, Doom, I can deal with that, um, Final Fantasy 7, I'll pass, considering this, because, I played the original Final Fantasy VII back in the day. Way back in the day. I beat that game. I discovered most of the secrets. I have no desire to play a remake of that game. To each day on on that game. You know, I still love Final Fantasy. I'm not trying to take anything away from anyone with that. Good luck. I mean, as if you're asking me how do it looks, it looks like it's going to be cool. I now, as of currently, I want to play the newer, newer Final Fantasy that's coming out. The newer, newer one. Oh, the newer one, not, not the that that remake. That Final Fantasy that looks totally awesome. I'm totally looking forward to playing that. Um, moving on to other things. Uh, there's another game that I'm really not really crazy about. Uh, period. The new Elder Scroll or Skyrim, whatever the hell it is. I'm remastered, whatever. I had no interest in that. That's another game that that had that I'm I falls on deaf ears for me. You know, I don't really care. You know, it's like whatever. You know, but uh, I think most of I mean most of that being said is, I mean with. With 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 you know Elder Scrolls, I try to get into Elder Scrolls. Elder Scrolls is one of them games. You know, don't get me wrong, it's it's cool for what it is. You know, it has lots of depth, lots of detail. I'm not, you know, it's just like Halo. I never, I tried to get into it. It didn't work. It just didn't work for me. I, you know, I found myself falling asleep on 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 that every time. It just lost me with the interest level. Also, now, there's one other thing I'm going to jump on before I end this video. Uh, you know, I'm going to say this. The new PS4 is BS, personally. I do not, and I will not, take part in getting a brand new system when I already have a system. If y'all didn't get it right the first time, what is what is the point? Is this useless? Just like they want to, they they say they want to say that if you get the new PS4, it's going to work in conjunction with my original system. That's insane. Why do I need a whole brand new system to help my system? That's two. That's having two boxes together. I mean, shoot. If that's the case, then I should be able to take my PS3 and my PS4 and put it together. And make one powerful system in itself. I mean, what the hell is? I mean, what the hell? That's freaking insane. My personal opinions about that is, the new PS4 is a waste of our money and our time. And with that time and with that money, you video game companies out there could be making better games for us. You know, it is us, the consumer, that makes it so that you, that y'all have what you have. Now the funny thing about this is, you know, I know I could rant about this all day long. And I'm sure video game companies they love when people rant 
about stuff. I've heard situations where companies have, I mean, literally put out negative stuff about their video games just to raise the bar for them. In general, you know, and it's 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 very it's very uh um underhanded that game companies do that, but it actually does happen, unfortunately, and that's just a sad reality of what of what goes on. But you know, what you gonna do? I think I pretty much you know, I think I uncovered everything that I'm gonna cover with gaming here. I hope that y'all enjoyed this. You know, and I hope to see you next time. This has been a this has been a, a Q Doma moment with your host Q Doma. That's me. You know, even though the channel is called Rubius Arcos, but still, this is this is the channel. If you wanna you know wanna find it, is there. But I call it Q Doma TV. But and Misty and me hope you have a great day. Great afternoon and a great rest of the week. And we'll see you in the future.